Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with banana bread. That's right, everybody thinks their banana bread recipe is the best, which is such a stupid argument because they're all not as good as this one. So let me show you how we put this together. We're gonna need three ripe bananas, so you definitely wanna see some brown or black spots on the peel. And yes, I know bananas vary in size, so just get three normal size bananas. No little dwarf bananas, no giant bananas that'll you know make people blush in the checkout line. Just normal average length bananas. So we're gonna take those out of the peel, we're gonna throw them in a bowl. Oh, and by the way, if you're making this around cartoon characters, please be careful with the peels. Do not throw them on the floor. So three ripe peeled bananas go in the bowl, and we're gonna go ahead and mash that with a potato masher. You could use a food processor if you want, and by want, I mean want to clean a food processor, but it's not necessary, just smash it till it looks like that. Okay, so that looks good. We're just gonna set that aside and get our dry ingredients ready, which is just all-purpose flour, some salt, some baking powder, and baking soda. And you could sift this all together if you want, or a little easier, just take a whisk and whisk vigorously for like one minute, and that will combine all those ingredients and break up any chunks, and that's ready to go. All right, next we're gonna take some room temperature butter, some soft butter, not melted, just soft, and some white granulated sugar, and we're gonna cream that together, and I do this every time. Because I have the whisk next to the bowl, I start mixing it with the whisk, and then I realize that's so dumb. It doesn't work. And then I grab the spatula and I just use the flat side to smush and mash the sugar and the butter together until it gets all nice and soft and light and creamy. And of course the pros would have this in an electric mixer and beat it all nice and super light and fluffy. Not necessary for this recipe. So if you want to dirty your mixer, go ahead. But really that's all you need to do. All right, to that we're gonna add the banana mixture and we're gonna whisk that in. All right, so mashed bananas, a lot of water. What we're stirring it into is mostly fat, so it doesn't really wanna combine that well. All right, so if it looks a little granular, don't worry. Just stir it till it's all together like that. Once the banana mixture is in, I'm gonna whip in two eggs, one at a time. So crack one egg in, stir it in, looking good. We're gonna go ahead and crack in the next egg, whip that in, looks good. Next comes a little tiny splash of vanilla, just a little bit, and a little splash of milk. Go ahead and stir that in, and we are ready for final assembly. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dump in our chopped walnuts, and surprise, a little bit of dark chocolate chips. Not quite enough to qualify this as chocolate banana bread, but enough to do delicious things to this recipe. So that's optional, of course. And then our flour mixture goes in, and all we're gonna do here is take a spatula, and mix that in until the flour is just barely integrated. So I'm basically gonna use a stirring motion and a little bit of a folding motion, which is just continually scraping down the sides and bringing the mixture from the bottom up over the top, all right, like you see me doing. And you wanna go until the flour is just about disappeared. So right there, I can still see a little bit of flour, a tiny bit of flour here and there, but you know what, I'm thinking to myself, when I put this into the loaf pan, all that'll get mixed together, okay? So I think you should stop right there. All right, I have a lightly oiled loaf pan. I'm gonna transfer the batter into, and you know what's coming next, the old tapa tapa. So we don't want any air bubbles on the bottom or in the middle, and by tapping it down like that, you'll settle all that batter down to the bottom. That goes in a preheated 325 degree oven for about an hour to an hour and 10 minutes. It depends. You're gonna test, of course. When a bamboo skewer comes out clean, you're done. And of course, if you stick the bamboo skewer into a chocolate chip, however, it will look wet and you won't be sure. So just bake it for an hour and 10 minutes and you should be fine. All right, we're gonna let that sit there for 15 to 20 minutes. Then we're gonna try to unmold it from the loaf pan, transfer that to a wire rack to finish cooling completely. And then we're gonna slice and serve in this is just an incredibly delicious, moist, beautiful banana bread. Just enough chocolate to give it a little extra richness and sweetness and deliciousness. All right, banana walnut, of course, a natural and perfect combination. This is also good toasted, if you're so inclined. I'm not big on coffee cakes. All right, if I'm gonna snack with a cup of coffee, I prefer cold pizza and tuna melds. But if I had to pick some home-baked thing to go with coffee, this would be my choice. So there you go, my top secret banana bread recipe that now everybody's gonna know. 
which is only fitting since I stole this from two celebrity chefs in LA. Anyway, I hope you give that a try. All the ingredients are on foodwishes.com, plus more information, as usual. And as always, enjoy.